Wouldn't it be nice if you could have an AI that helps you reply all your email messages? Well, that is exactly what I'm gonna teach you how to do in this video. Hi, I'm Caio Calderari from AutomationHelpers.com. We help companies like yours get automated and grow by using industry-leading tools to build portals, apps, integrations, and much more. Subscribe to the channel if you want to leverage tech to help your business grow. All right, let's now jump into the tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to integrate your email inbox with AI models so you can leverage AI to help you reply your email messages. How cool is that? Let's jump right in. Okay, guys, in order to create this automation where an AI will reply our email messages, we are going to use Zapier. So the first step is to log into your Zapier account. If you don't have one, just go to zapier.com and create a free account. Okay, now we are going to click here to create a new Zap. And once we are inside our canvas here, we are going to create a trigger. The trigger will be connected to Gmail, right? So every time we receive an email message, we receive it on our Gmail account. If you're using another service, then you can find the specific service you're using for this tutorial. I'm going to use Gmail, okay? We are going to select the trigger here and we are going to search or find the tool we want to use right now on this list. Since I already see Gmail here, we are going to select this option. And now I'm going to configure the connection between my Gmail account and Zapier. I'm going to provide access to my Gmail account so Zapier can identify when I receive a new message on my Gmail inbox. Okay, so I'm going to choose first a trigger event. We have a couple options we can choose here. And the trigger that I'm looking for is this one new email. Okay, so it triggers when a new email appears in the specified mailbox. So that is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to select this option. And here I have one Gmail account set up, but I'm going to use another one. So if it's the first time you're using Zapier, you will have to click here to connect a new account. I'm going to click this button here. A new window will pop up. I'm going to select my Gmail account. If you're not logged in already, then you just log in and then select your account or the account you want to use. Click continue and allow. And now your account will be fully synchronized with Zapier. Notice here that Zapier will trigger this automation every two minutes. So every time you receive a new message, Zapier will know and will trigger this automation. Okay, so this is set up. This is done. So now we want an AI model to read these email messages we are receiving and come up with a reply. Okay, the second step is to choose OpenAI or any other AI model that you want to use. In this tutorial, I'm going to use OpenAI ChatGPT. So I'm going to select this option here. And then I have to select an action event. Okay. Here we have a couple options. It can analyze the text sentiment, check moderation, classify text, convert text to speech, and a lot of other things. For our specific tutorial, we are going to use this sends a prompt to OpenAI and generate a completion, okay? So this is the option that I'm going to use. And now I have to select my OpenAI account. So I have a couple options here. To use this, you're going to need an OpenAI account. And then you're going to click here to connect. You're going to go to your OpenAI account, create an API key, and then you're going to paste your API key here and your organization ID as well. Once you do that, then your Zapier account will be fully set up and connected to your OpenAI account. Of course, you have to add some money to your OpenAI account so you can actually use some tokens and credits from the API, okay? Since I already have one set up, I'm going to use this one so we can save time. I'm going to click continue. Here, I can select the model that I want to use. For this tutorial, we are going to use this model, but you could select any other model you want to use here. And here, we have to define the prompt. We have to come up with some instructions so OpenAI knows what to do. So let's think about this for a second. 
what is going on here? We have this first trigger that is collecting all the email messages we are receiving on our inbox, right? And we have the information about all the emails we are receiving. So basically what we have to do here is to ask ChatGPT to read that email message, understand it, and come up with a reply message, right? So that is exactly what we have to do here while writing this prompt. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to write a very simple prompt. It's not going to be the best prompt, but if you're actually looking to implement this on your email account and create this automation for yourself, I recommend you spend a little bit more time constructing this prompt and improving it over time so you can get better results, okay? Right now, we are going to start writing our prompt. And again, it's going to be very simple just for this video tutorial. Okay, so here is my prompt. Again, not the best prompt in the world, but it will work for our tutorial. And we can even improve this if we need to. So basically, what I'm saying is, you are my personal assistant, you are kind and polite. Your job is to help me reply email messages. You are very good at writing short and objective emails. I will send the email message I received here and you will provide the email reply answering all the questions in the best way possible. Okay, so I could continue giving more instructions. Another thing that I could do is to actually provide more information about myself, what I do, my business, maybe some basic uh, information that is going to help this AI understand more of the context and be able to reply even some basic information. So for instance, let's say you have a form on your website and people are always asking the same questions. How much do you charge? How long does it take, etc., etc. And maybe you created one single email inbox just to receive email messages from that specific form. So you kind of know that the majority of email messages you're going to receive on that particular inbox will be kind of similar. So you could, for instance, add your hourly rate on your prompt, your store's open hours, and other information you think might be relevant. So the AI will know this information and will be able to provide these answers on the email reply, which is really cool, okay? So the best your prompt is, the better the results you will get. That's the idea here. By the way, if you have a project you want to build or if you have any questions, we are here to assist. Visit our website at automationhelpers.com. We are offering free 30-minute consultation calls with our experts. I'm sure they will be able to help you get your project done. So visit the link down below and make sure to book your call today. Right now, it's just a simple tutorial so you can get the idea. So we are going to use a very simple prompt. Now, what is still missing here is the message. So we can say the email message is below. And now we are going to click this plus icon here. We have to complete the first step. So we are going to go back here. We are going to test this trigger and it will pull some emails from my account so we can use it as a test record. Now we are going to click continue here. Now the next step is to provide the information coming from your email, the email you received on the prompt, right? So here is the email message, the email title is, and the email sender is. The order doesn't really matter. It's up to you. So for the message, I'm going to add the body plane. For the title, we are going to select subject. And here the email sender is... I'm going to select from name. Then I'm going to click continue and I'm going to test this step. All right. Now we have the reply we received from ChatGPT and it created this reply message. Because I'm using some of the emails I had on my account, which was from Google, notifying me about a security alert. This is the reply that ChatGPT came up with. Thank you for notifying me about the recent activity on my Google account, but it's working, so this is what matters. All right, so we have our first step, which is collecting emails from my inbox, and we have the second step that is understanding this message and creating a reply. Now, the next step is to send this information 
to our Gmail account. So we're going to select Gmail here and we're going to select an event. The event will be create a draft reply. The account is already selected. It is the same account. We are going to click continue. So we are going to have to add a search step so we can locate this specific message we are using from the step one to be able to reply this specific message and get the information generated from the AI and add this to our Gmail account as a draft reply for this specific message. So here we are going to select a value from that specific message that can actually say, oh, this is the actual message we are talking about. So we are going to select this first option here, which is the body plane, because this one is probably going to be unique. So we are going to base this on the content of the email we are receiving. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about these other settings for now. I'm going to click continue and then test this. Okay. It's got the information from the email. Let's continue. And now we are on the fourth step now because we have a new one before it, which is the find email. Now we are going to configure this one. I have the thread IG here that was already added for me. Now I have to pass the rest of the information here. So who am I going to reply this message to, which is the same person who sent it first. So it's going to be the from email. These ones can be empty. The from value is going to be myself because I'm going to be the one replying this message. From name can be my own name or could be blank up to you. The body will be plain or it could be HTML if you are actually going to use HTML here. In this case, we are not going to use HTML, so it's going to be plain. And then here on the body, we are going to get the information that we are receiving from ChatGPT, which is the response, okay? So we're going to select this option here and we can choose whether we want to add our signature or not if we have one. And we can also add labels or specific mailboxes here if we have some and if we want to add files as attachments we can also do that in this case we are not going to do it now i'm going to click continue and we can test this step and as we can see it's done now i just want to ask you something are you enjoying this content so far if so click the like button down below consider subscribing to the channel if you want to learn more about tech and automation now if we go back to our email inbox we have a new message here that i sent to myself and if we refresh our inbox, we are going to see now that this message has a draft. Okay, so this is the message I sent to myself. Hi, I wanted to know if you could build an automation for me. And then the AI generated this reply. Hello, Kyle, thank you for your email. I would be happy to assist you with building an automation. Please provide more details about your request so I can better understand your needs. Looking forward to working with you, best and a placeholder. Now, I could easily just come to my inbox and then check this reply message that was generated by OpenAI. And I can come here and add my name. And I could even check if I actually like this reply. If not, then I can type in other things here add extra information or remove extra information. Now, of course, this is very simple because the prompt was really simple as well. But like I've mentioned, if you add more information to your prompt and you make it a little bit more robust, the answers you're going to get from the AI will be way better. And as we can see here right now, this automation that I've built is not actually going to send this email to the person. You are still going to be in control. You can come to your email inbox. You're going to be able to read it, make sure it's all good to go, fix minor mistakes if needed. And then once you're ready, you can click send and then send this email message. You have total control. You will 
choose whether you want to use this email draft or not. But it will still save you a bunch of time because you don't have to come up with these simple email messages and replies for some simple emails. Now, there are some other tools you could use. You could achieve similar results with Make or Relay.app. These two automation tools also have a feature called Human in the Loop that can provide you with control, a human control, to define whether a message that was created can be actually submitted. So if you had an automation that had an extra step here, that would be to send this message like this one, send email, you could have another step here using make or relay that will be the human in the loop feature that will allow you to say, okay, let me reveal this message before I click submit. And then once I give the green light, it will actually be sent by the automation. Okay, so that's another option for you. Now, if you also have a different scenario, let's say your inbox is your personal inbox, you might be receiving some other kinds of emails like promotional emails, emails from social media, any sorts of email messages, right? And some of these messages will not be replied, right? Because, well, there is no reason for you to reply a message from Google or Facebook or whatever. So you could also create some extra steps here and then the AI can help you understand, oh, this is an actual message from someone and this is a message from a company. So you could create extra filters here to define whether this message should be replied or not. But that would be a little bit of a more complex scenario. So if you have the time or if you know what you're doing, you can try it yourself. In this tutorial, I just want to cover the basics, okay? The foundation to show you how this could work. If you want to continue learning about Zapier, we have another awesome video for you here on the channel. Watch this beginner's guide created by Dan. The link's on the video description section down below. Now to continue this, we have to add a name to our Zap. So I'm going to click here and rename it. And I'm going to call this email reply AI assistant. And I'm going to click here on the publish button. This will publish my application and turn my Zap on, meaning that now it's active. It means now that every time I receive a new email message on my inbox, every two minutes, it will check if there is any new email message. And if there is one, it will trigger this automation and it will send this information to ChatGPT. It will write an email reply, find the email and create a draft with the email reply from ChatGPT, which is awesome and is going to save you a bunch of time. That could be used in many, many ways. You can make this better. You could have other ideas and use it in a lot of different ways. Leverage the power of AI and automation to create amazing things that will save you not only time, but also money and make you work more efficiently. Why not? Now I'm gonna wait for the Zap to run and then I'm gonna check the draft that will be generated here on my email inbox. Let's see. All right, we have a new draft here on my email inbox. Let's check it. So this message was, hey, I want to book a call and ask for help to build an automation. Can I do it by visiting your website at automationhelpers.com? And the answer is, sure, Caio. Thank you for your interest in our services. You can definitely book a call with us to discuss building an automation. Please visit our website, automationhelpers.com to schedule a call at your convenience. We look forward to helping you achieve your automation goals. So why not book a call today? The link's down below on the video description section. Now, my friends, if you want to continue learning more about tech and automation, we have a lot more content here for you on the channel. So make sure to dive deeper and keep watching more videos we have available just for you. Thanks for watching and I catch you on the next one. Let's automate your business.